Now this video is a little bit different, sort of like a PSA. I wanna show you guys how I fix this issue with super fast video playback that occurs from time to time on my Mac. It's really simple and it doesn't involve a restart. Check it out. Have you ever encountered that issue on your Mac where you play back a video file, whether that be a local video or a video on YouTube or whatever the case may be, and it plays back like super fast, there's no sound, and basically goes from the beginning to the, to the end in almost an instant. Well, that's super frustrating. Here's one example of a local video. It also happens here with a YouTube video. So I'm playing that YouTube, you see how it just speeds through that video, it speeds fat, so fast that it actually starts buffering. And I find that this usually occurs when I'm away from my Mac and I come back after an extended absence. So let me show you how I've learned to deal with this issue here. I'm just going to open up Activity Monitor and you can find that under Applications Utilities. So once that's opened up, you'll probably notice the Core Audio D or Core Audio Daemon near the top of that list of process names. Notice that CPU time is just way, way up there. So what we wanna do is we wanna highlight Core Audio D and we wanna click the X. And then you wanna select Force Quit. This will force quit Core Audio D, but don't worry, it will restart automatically. So there it is right at the top, Core Audio D. All right, so that should fix the video issue with the videos playing back at like super high speed with no sound. So we just close out of Activity Monitor and let's open up one of our videos and let's test it out and see how it, how it sounds and how it looks. All right, so there's a local video and that's playing back pretty well. So let's go ahead and try to play back a video online. Uh, so we're gonna open up YouTube and there we go. So there are lots of ways to fix this issue. Of course, you can restart your Mac and that'll fix the issue. There's some other ways you can go about fixing it, but this is one of the easier ways to deal with this issue. What do you guys think? Have you encountered this problem? Have you found a better fix? Let me know down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.